Hello everybody, I'm Tyler. I'm going to be reviewing the new Netflix sci-fi movie Tau. As you can see, Castle, the best bunny critic in the biz, didn't like it. Now I'm going to let you know what I think. Let's do this. Now I haven't seen every Netflix sci-fi movie, but judging by the ones that I've seen, I'm going to say this, Netflix has a problem with making really good sci-fi movies. They can make okay ones, they're really, they mostly range from being stinkers to okay. They, there hasn't really been a great one. Now, I'm not talking shows here, because like a show like Altered Carbon was a good show. So what this comes down to is just being another dark, murky Netflix movie. It, it, it's so dark, it just feels murky. It's not, it doesn't have any real life to it. Now, I wouldn't say I was excited for this movie, but I was interested in it because I like the premise. I kind of like premises where they're just people trapped in a room and they have to figure out what's going on, why they're there, how to get out. I'm not always happy with the results, but I like the setup. And here, I enjoyed the setup. It's just everything else of it was either okay to bad, just kind of like Netflix sci-fi movies in general. Micah Monroe plays the, the lead character, Julia, who gets trapped in this in this house and she actually puts in pretty solid work I don't have any real complaints with what she's done here it's everything around her that's bad it takes a woman in peril kind of subgenre and it doesn't do anything interesting with it it's very predictable it doesn't go off the beaten path the little guard robot thing isn't really that intimidating even though it is technically dangerous and it could kill her it never feels th really that threatening and Tao doesn't really showcase any real intelligence that other better sci-fi movies do. It's kind of like it took elements from different ones but didn't really add its own identity to it, which is a problem because when you have Monroe trying her hardest to, you know, bring this movie up and everything else is trying to just bring it down, that's a, that's a real problem. So really it just dies with its plot, which is so poorly written, I don't know how it was ever really made. Like, she's trapped in this house by a guy named Alex, which is not really a spoiler. And he's such a bad character. He has no real... He has no real character. I mean, he has... A, like, this movie has no real identity. You don't know why he's doing something. He's just a CEO of this company. But he's kind of one of the dumbest, like, apparent geniuses that I've ever seen. Like, some of the things he does is so stupid that it lose, the movie loses any any real tension that it has. And I've seen it compared to uh, Fifty Shades, but he is basically Christian Grey. There's just no personality there. None at all. But you do have some good parts. Um, when Julia is talking to the AI Tao that the movie's named after, that's actually pretty compelling stuff. There's some real emotion there. Maybe I'm just overly sensitive, but it did get to me, and it's Gary Oldman. Uh, voicing the AI, which I've seen people criticize, but it really wasn't that bad. It's just it's just an AI. It's nothing substantial and exceptional, but it's not bad either. But the interactions between them, even though it takes some stupid leaps to get to that point where they can have those interactions, that was rewarding, and because of that, the ending was a little rewarding, but this is really one of the only positive, truly positive things in this movie. So if someone was to ask me, Tyler and Castle, should I see this movie? I would give it a maybe if it's free, but that maybe is really stretching it. Now, with that said, I don't think it's the worst movie ever. It's not a disaster. This does have its moments where it shines, and for the most part, it's very inoffensive. So I'm going to get out here. That was my review of Tao. What do, what do you think if you've seen it? Let me know in the comments below. See ya.